All right, we're going to hop in to the draft. <clears throat> and we, uh, you see the sides swapped here. VT on the red side, now Drexel on the blue. Down to Flash, going to be dropping the first man. Who are we going to see? Is it going to be the Jin, or is it going to be the Gangplank? Stay the ribbon. Opt to target ban the ribbon. I, I mean, I guess if you're just that scared of the of the pocket pick, then then yeah. it's then it's mm. your call. Uh, I would always ban Yade's ribbon. I don't know. Yeah. Would you? Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> talking like master tier, you know, like ribbon, yeah. I, I'm I'm you know, a, a boosted. Yeah, and I, yeah, you're welcome. Here, by the way, so, you know. If you're willing to ban the Gangplank last game, you should ban the game yeah. in this game. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Caitlyn takeaway. Caitlyn and Twitch once again yeah. banned away. Keeping those keeping those eighty carries out of here. I need to learn to play Twitch, man. Twitch is so good. Twitch is yeah. so good. I'm indifferent towards Twitch. I think Twitch is I think he'd be really bad too. I think Twitch is amazing. Depends on if he gets fed or not. I think I'd be bad at yeah. Twitch. What? You think I'd be bad at Twitch? Yeah, I'd be better. Go with yes. Wow. All right, looks like they swapped out the Olaf ban so far. Yeah. God okay. has a slightly different pool than VT Bichon, so could be saying I'm not okay. afraid of that. Could be saying I want to take that. I I feel like at this point, there's like you just, you're gonna end up with like two of the four junglers anyway. So what's the <laughs> you know? Just let people have what they want. I, I do I do like getting rid of the Zach. I think Zach's just obnoxious. Yeah. Zach that, that is just so obnoxious to play against. The Sejuani ban or comes we'll just out. Ban out all of them. Okay. <laughs> Interesting that they banned that Sejuani. I don't really feel like it gave them too much. I mean, it's a different player. Crawl. Could be something different. Yeah, yeah, it is a different player. Gavin, not like for his uh, Sejuani's. Yeah, I'd like to see them keep the Morgana support. I think Morgana mm -hmm. support is great right now, but Black Shield, Black Shield is just nuts. It's yeah, it's always it's nuts, but so they do I, opt to ban okay. away Nagi's body. Yeah. So I, I think that's probably a wise decision. Definitely gave them the most trouble last game. Mm -hmm. The the Jin does go through, so uh, Jin and Kaisa both up. They did first pick the Kaisa last time. It looks, looks like, like they're gonna, gonna have to go for it again. I think for Jin Tech's going to take Olaf and potentially Morgana here. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I could definitely see that. Kind of big. I don't think Morgana herself is that insane. I think it's Black Shield. Yeah, and yeah. also I've talked to Gavin about it, and he thinks the biggest counter to Olaf is Morgana. Yeah. Um, so. so they're gonna take Rise and Olaf instead. So. They will take the, the Olaf away, so not letting uh, not letting Drexel have the Olaf. Okay, they're going to get the trundle. the trundle instead. Okay, so VT does take the yeah. rise again. Okay, yeah. Trundle yeah, not going so... to be quite as uh, crazy as the Kha'Zix was in team fights, but it's yeah, still think... very good. The counter to running at people really fast is to block them with like <laughs> something they can't get around. Um, so I think the the pillar is pretty effective in countering you know what Olaf does, and mm -hmm. if you're gonna build, be building a Shirelia's rise, like this something against that too. But the <laughs> the counter to terrain is the ability to yeah. hop a mile. Away. So we're gonna see Camille instead. Yeah, it looks like Yade wants to get his pick in before more bands come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we have seen that Camille several times. Uh, I do believe this season. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. It's a pretty Pretty consistent pick for him. Yeah, he definitely is someone in his yeah. top three after Riven of, and uh, potentially Royal. Yeah. yeah. So shaping up for a little bit of a different game. Uh, I... Roster swaps. We see a little bit of different action coming in. What is the band going to be here? Morgana is the band. Morgana. Okay. Okay. They had the opportunity to pick it away, so they didn't yeah, want they, to. Yeah. 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 I was about to say that. Like you could just take Morgana, you know, but get it out. of Get him out of here, boys. Will they let Jin slide through this? Is the question I am looking for. I'd like to see them take it away. Because you've got your priority pick on the Kai'Sa. They try to take away his side. Yeah, I, um, yeah I mean, no, I not, not wanting to let to the yeah, I don't, Zai is super obnoxious. Yeah, I don't think it's the strongest it's ever been, but... Still, still right, pretty fair, fair play. Top tier bot lane. Yeah, pretty still strong. I really don't want to see that Lulu. Yeah, that would also uh, kind of annoy an Olaf who wants to just kill your AD carry real fast. <laughs> yeah. Right. Getting that big shield in. Yeah, I'd really like to see a uh, Jin ban here. Jin goes really well with the just run ahead of him because he can follow up with LT. Um, so hopefully they'll take it away here. I feel like it gave him some trouble, but they're going to take it. Yeah, I wrong. think Virginia is going to be looking for some tankiness in their support with the team comp they have. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Um, it could be wrong. We could just see something yeah. uh, supportive come out again. But they, they have yeah. two, like, off tanks, sort of, so yeah. far. I mean, there's Jin. Uh... You know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see a Tarek here for VT. Tarek is insanely nice with Camille and Olaf. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Camille Olaf Tarek is pretty nuts. Yeah. yeah I'm, you know, I'm not sure. Tarek. Uh, Tarek can imp- actually be pretty wonky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tarek, Tarek is very strong in a lot of situations. Active poison. Um, uh, that's 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 what I would like to see here from BT side. I think it would really. Eat... They're not the tankiest team. That, uh, yeah, I was thinking maybe Jana, mm. and we will see locked in. Yeah, hoping hoping to delay uh, the. Old... <clears throat> Tarek is, Camille died. Yeah, Tarek is very effective against Camille also. With uh, an effective against Tarek's also effective against Vladimir too. So yeah. There's only some power there. Um, and hopefully Jana can knock away some of these people if they try to jump into. Yeah, I think Tarek's actually one of the better melee supports against Jana. Um, Braum being mm-hmm. another yeah. one. But, like picking someone something like Alistar, all your plays will get shut down. Playing Tarek is not yeah. actually. No, that definitely. Yeah, I, I base definitely think in melee range. They, okay, they could look for the Thresh. I, I'd really like to see the Tarek. I, I I don't know if it's in their in their talks right now, but I really think it would round out this team comp. But they mm-hmm. could also just be looking for even more pick potential. They do have a lot of follow up for picks, so if they do opt to go for this thresh, I don't think it's the. Oh, oh I... karma once again. I don't like. Uh, I don't like that karma at all. Mm, I don't think it, it was that he played it that great last game. Um, and but I think it suits the comp here pretty fine because uh, you have you know. Uh, the the three man Camille Olaf Rise running in. You do get the speed boost, yeah. yeah so it yeah. makes sense. Uh, but I think yeah, the target pick. Just really the budget works. siver. Yeah. Yeah. True. Coming in. Ooh man, I was really hoping to see the target. Thought it was. <laughs> Wait, thought it was you, I couldn't really tell if you were looking. Thought it was going to round at that draft. Gee, so nice. Luke, what, was... uh, what, what? You guys just cut out me. I don't know if you're talking. Just to. Uh... Okay, Luke, really? What 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 champion would you have liked to see in, for, in the final pick of Virginia Tech's draft? Ezreal. Okay, makes yeah. sense. <laughs> All right, gonna hop into the delay here. So actually, pretty different stuff coming out. Yeah, I mean, two players swapped out from Virginia Tech, so I think it's mm-hmm. definitely kind of expected. You're going to see something slightly different there. Uh, Camille, yeah. Yade, a much more aggressive player, so is he a lot, bit more of an aggressive pick in Camille? Definitely. Yeah, this could definitely still go really bad for the Maokai because I feel like. Yeah, I, 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 we didn't. I, I was over. too focused. You guys are cutting out on me yeah. again. I just want to, in case like your Discord uh, threshold is off or something. I'm not sure. You just cut out on me twice in a row, so I'm worried it might be a problem this game. Wait, no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Better that we fix it now than, you know, once we get into the game, some Baron fight happens and suddenly there's just no commentary. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, voice activity. Yeah. I think we're just varying our voice loud. We go gotcha. from quiet to loud and the uh, the voice, automatic voice detection. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that for automatic and put it back on to something a little bit more reasonable like that and we should be good to go sweet all right hopefully yeah. this is so, a problem yeah yeah sorry to the stream for all the uh, technical difficulties uh, this finals but you know a few things came up no we're getting it figured out i think we should be good to go for the rest of the series now yeah it's not like we very... need to fill the entirety of the three minute delay with conversation though <laughs> it was a very generous delay i think we're good I just want to make sure the the like the the fan noise isn't coming through. I think we're good. Oh. Fan noise. Our our live Woo! studio audience. I mean, of course. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. The noise yeah. of the fans. Yeah. The Drexel. Yep. Cheering fans. Yep. Kind of sad that we don't have an in-person finals again. I understand why you don't, but it was yeah. a really fun yeah. event last time. Yeah. Yeah. That was like, yeah. yeah that, was, that was a fun time. Very tired afterwards, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh yeah. Knocked out. Lots of setup. Lots of setup. Lots of Ooh, yeah. digging down. Lots of oh, setup. My and then the drive. Yeah, that was pretty nice, though. Oh yeah, drive was a fun time. It's not. It's not far from uh, the distance between Virginia Tech and West Virginia, right? 
Uh, it was about a four hour drive for us. Is it really? Was it really? Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. Surprising. Three hour, three. Yeah, no, it's basically you're at the West, or sorry, West Virginia. You guys are at Louisville. Uh, yeah. When, mm-hmm. WVU is at like the very northern part of West Virginia, and mm. Virginia Tech is at the very southern part of Virginia. So it's a uh, pretty hard drive. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I mean, not very yeah. southern, oh, was, but pretty was, southern. Hours? Something like that. Yeah. Fortunately, I got to drive home. Joseph mm. likes to stop every. Half hour. <laughs> Shut up, dude. I stopped twice. I, just, okay. I literally stopped. What, did I even stop? I don't know. I don't think I stopped. Maybe you stopped once. I think I stopped one time. Yeah. Oh, gee. 50% less stoppage. Oh, big deal. You uh, only didn't stop because I told you to <laughs> stop. And I was like, bro, let's just get there. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. We are hopping in on the loading screen. Child wow. Rock press the attack trundle? Yeah, that's you, normal. Bro? That's what Oh, is it? Is yep. that is that a normal thing? Interesting. For a jungle it is. Okay. All right. That's not what I expected. I've always seen it played, but I didn't really pay attention to the mastery. Um, huh, that's interesting. I I had no idea who took that. Yeah. I, I don't I could I didn't check if they have resolve second or not. As I like to do at the beginning of every game, we see both mid laners having the minion dematerializer. Woo! Yeah. Oh yeah. I like it. I think the banner priority is lower than when the the if for the banner first got changed. I feel like it was a really big deal no, then, and now it's like. Yeah, what? no, I mean, uh, ever since Baron bannered minions, um, stopped being a. Uh, yeah. It's as important. It's not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Big deal. It's, it's, yeah, since the, they they nerfed the banner pretty quickly after that change, so it's not a big deal now. So that people don't say. Messing it's up like, the perfect line of scrimmage. It was also a big deal because of the junglers and the top winners we had in that meta. It was a lot of magic damage or tank top winners and yeah, tank yeah. Uh, junglers as well. Now you have, uh, at least in collegiate, you have a lot more aggressive yeah. top lane picks and the Olaf mm-hmm. and Trundle has come out, so banner becomes a bit less optimal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm excited to see how that changes uh, professional play too. I feel like it'll be exciting. Because I'm, t- I, I don't, I'm not a fan of this whole tank jungler thing. I think it's actually really lame. <laughs> Olaf's um, so exciting. I, I like the Olaf Trundle Skarner thing. I've seen a lot of uh, cool jungle plays in the OCS. Yeah, I'm just sick of seeing Sejuani. <laughs> yeah, Sejuani's really always good. I really don't want to see Gragas come back either. Like that, uh, oh gosh. That's been like good for years now, so please stop with the. I much hey, prefer Gragas hasn't been good for like four months. <laughs> um, actually, yeah. Weird thing we see longer. here Kais is actually starting up a push really early in the bottom lane. Okay. Oh yeah, she is. Yeah. Gonna get you know, that super early push going on. Yeah, Trundle's starting on the top side this time around, and it looks like he's headed straight for the red buff. Okay, so Ooh. they push up and easily see that Virginia Tech's not gonna match. So I, I don't think that VT has a clue about what just. No, happened. I have absolutely yeah. no idea. So I think Kung Fu's gonna just completely take this for free. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He knows Olaf just loves to do that full clear, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's reasonable. I mean, Olaf has, like, the fastest full clear in the game, so I can see why he wants to do that. Um, and smart play by Trump decided to nice. counter that. Yep. Really, really, I like it. I like it. Great heads up play from Honkuk, making yeah, that decision. Yes, uh, they knew the uh, Janna popped down the ward at the blue buff, so knew Olaf was starting there. Opened up that play. Mm. Boy, as a team, to uh, get that going. Yeah. Good team play, guys. Nice. I would expect Turnal to go for like uh, normally a, a gank up here. Like, I mean, Makai is good setup for early gank, um, but I think that he noticed that. Yeah, they wielded the bush up here. Mill is uh, is very hard to gank as well. Yeah. Also, if, if you're if you're a smart boy and you save that save that E, yeah, basically should never die to a gank. You shouldn't. Camille going for some <laughs> harassment on Makai though. Yeah, just uh, just gonna try and bully down the tree, man. Pretty pretty consistent stuff with that lane. You're seeing Virginia Tech harassing literally every lane there, <laughs> simultaneously. Yeah, the problem is I don't think Trundle makes uh, as much impact with the three buffs as other junglers do because his early ganks are kind of bad um, because uh-huh. he just doesn't have any you know a, you know strong ability to capitalize on a gank. Especially, like, your bot lane is Janna, Kaisa. Yeah, there's nothing, that, there's nothing to that's engage with there. Really, really, the only engaged lane they have yeah. would, would be that Makai at the top yeah, lane. Yeah, Nobody yeah. else 
like, yeah, you can't you can't gank for Vladimir, you know, like, especially against a rise, like it's just far away from you. And top lane was awarded, so we can't gank that early. So um, triple camp start doesn't have a big payoff in this case, I don't think. For the jungle. Nice target switching from Karma there. Runs up while she's going to hit uh, Kaisa. Jana shields Kaisa, and then Karma switches, mm. does the harass onto Jana instead. Two hundred IQ. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Good play. That's how you should be. It's something like you see some play, pro players do it a lot, and it's really impressive every time. It's how a lot of pro players hit like some really uh, cool fresh hooks and stuff, is they look like they're going to hit one person, catches people off guard. <laughs> Olaf does spot on Huang Fu here in the jungle. Gonna try and take away a couple little raptors. Nobody's gonna rotate though, and Trundle's just gonna go ahead and back up, so nothing really comes of that. Big wave here for Maokai. Gonna make it a little bit harder for Camille to fight in that lane. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's, quit, he does also have a momentary level advantage, so... A little bit of a good trade coming in for down to flash. Hmm. I don't- I'm not- I'm not expecting the level of action to change for a little while. Um... I mean, Trundle and Olaf have power early, um, but these lanes are kind of hard to gank, especially for the Trundle and Olaf's behind, so he's not gonna be doing a whole lot either. I mean, he was behind. He's catching up pretty fast. Yeah, Olaf clears he, he so clears, quick. Yeah, he just clears really quick. Trundle does opt to go for that Tiamat. Hmm. Even speedier clears. Oh, let me see a snare coming in on here. Onto Jonah, Ignite snare comes out. Jenna. Ooh, the Ignite goes down. Miles is just gonna back up. Actually, gonna get chunked pretty low. The heal just come out for regular. He flashes forward, but the heal from Oz does save his support. So both. Ooh, ooh. Both actually, so regular did did use both his sums. So actually, a summoner advantage now for the uh, the bot lane of Drexel. Karma used the ignite too. Yep. So. Bit of a trade. Uh, yeah. Drexel slightly ahead in that, but they're also lower on health bars. So. Yeah. What are we going to see next? Uh, yeah, Karma and Jin are just free to stay in this lane with the amount of HP they have. And Kaisa and Janna can stay there as long as they don't do something abhorrently stupid. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to see uh, possibly some, some dives coming onto this bot lane. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, Janna is always kind of a rough rough target to dive, but hopefully with that all off, we can just get in and kill him anyway. He's on the side of the map right now, so yeah. that's yeah. Gonna They're just going to take their golden back with it. Both sides. See what Olaf does here. Yeah. Talk about Trundle having a hard time ganking. Olaf's going to have an equally hard time ganking one of these lanes. Uh, basically, only Maokai is a viable gank target, and he's definitely not a viable dive target. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just ungankable lanes, which <laughs> leads to no action early game. I, I, I feel like if, uh, if the bot lane for Drexel hadn't backed there, uh, VT was gonna look for a, a Rizal dive on the bot lane, just kind of from their movements. Mm -hmm. uh, I was getting kind of that feeling, but they do back, so nothing ends up coming of it. But I, I would think that would kind of be what they're looking for, looking to get that Jin snowballing once again. A little scrap coming in here between the uh, Wang Fu and the Swag. Nothing really gonna come of it. Yeah, are they looking for uh, some fight on to down to Flash? Predator comes out. On Olaf. Yeah. Got yeah, Gavin gonna run up, but unfortunately, not really able to lock anything down. So just some more casual landing gonna come out. <clears throat> yeah. Nothing too crazy. There is a ward behind the bot lane of Drexel right now, so there could possibly be a teleport in from. Uh, actually, does time out as soon as I start talking about it. So never mind. She was bad. Cast his curse or something. Darn it! Uh -huh. I was thinking the the Yachty teleport was coming in. Big play! Yeah, it's like he's gonna clear this wave. He's yeah, like, that's what I was thinking. And the war time though. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> right. Let's see, good for us coming back from uh, the Kaisa now. W's is gonna start hurting. Kind of interesting. Yeah, Kaisa actually it. went for the Zerker's Greaves first item. I don't oh, think she that's did normal. actually. No. <laughs> She, uh, she could just be looking oh, to get Olaf's that Oh, Olaf is here. Down to Flash does have his Summoner spell and does actually Flash after the uh, Camille comes down, so he is going to be locked in it. Olaf's going to go in. Big damage coming on. I think they will end up securing him. He goes back in to hopefully heal up. First Blood goes over to Yade. 
And that's a target they were looking for. Now I'm gonna hopefully push up, get a little bit of tower damage, and uh, maybe start getting a little snowball action happening. I'd like to see, like I said, maybe some teleports to the bot lane. Start getting this gin rolling also. We do see a mountain drake. Is the drake up right now? So always a high priority drake there. Yep. Yeah, no, this is definitely a... Uh, the Camille and the Olaf, it's who he wants to get ahead in the early game. So... Good job from them putting that pressure up there. I expect to see a few, a bit more of that too. Now the teleport and flash are both down from FA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just start start abusing that top laner. Mm -hmm. It's like Bong Fu's gonna turn his focus down to the bot lane now. Um, as uh, I don't think top lane has. I think Camila and Olaf can just kill Nakai and Trundle over and over mm -hmm. again if he shows up for the TV too. So he's gonna look for an, uh, open up. Um, some some space for the Kaisa of the Janet to, to lane as freely as they wish. He does come up and steal a couple camps away for his trouble. Actually, he's going to end up meeting the swag here in the mid lane. He's kind of by himself. Latimer's teleporting back to his tower. Uh, Olaf's at his there, Raptors. Right? Yeah, Ryze is actually doing quite a bit of damage to Hong Fu, but Hong Fu starts opening up. Almost knocks him down. He oh puts him oh, down. Oh, he takes down. From red buff and the red, red smite. Red Red buff, red smite, and Trundle. Oh, I didn't realize he red smited him. So I, I was like, that tick was a lot. Yeah. Triple so dot. You just uh, him. underestimate the tick down a little bit. Oh yeah, the ulti. Nice yeah. work. Yeah. You know, trying to do some damage onto the Maokai here. Not doing quite as much damage at this point. I'm gonna have to wait for that Triforce to come out to really start hitting yeah. too much harder. Yeah. yeah, so just hit a break point, you know, uh, one or you know, two full items in the just should just help damage. Slowly you winning, see. but, you know, Maokai's yeah. passive will help him out a little bit. You see Drexel knocking out this dragon. Mountain, always crispy to have. Hopefully they get the here. Um, very late. Oh, man, they have a teleport advantage. Down to flash does not have his. Olaf opens up. Janna just kind of gets Whoa. away. Yana is very deep. Actually, he's going to take out Chow. And Oz just falls to the swag. Actually, could be a disaster here. Jindal opens up. Forces a flash from Mage, and Wang Fu looks like he will be cleaned up here. Having that teleport advantage ends up coming out huge for BT. Yeah, and I don't know about you guys, but losing first Drake for three kills is kind of nice. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Especially with a player like Yade, where we consistently see him yeah, getting these all early leads. Three kills onto Yade. And just uh, starting to just take the game into his own hands and just really lay down the pain on some of these teams. And now he's going to come up, and Maokai is just kind of underestimating how fast a Camille can get back to lane and could actually fall here. Doesn't, Doesn't have, have enough mana Camille. for even an ultimate. Uh, oh, and Yanni does flash in. He's got his E. He's gonna, he's gonna get it, I believe. Oh, he's gonna oh, die no, for it. Though. No. Uh, oh. oh. That's a, that's a Yanni yeah. play. Oh, Damn, Yanni. <laughs> Damn, chill. He, he, he was feeling himself. Just, just, just grab your Triforce, bro. But unfortunately, <laughs> Maokai's passive comes in clutch. Yep. Yeah. So um, Yanni getting a little too hyped there. Ends up paying for it. I was I was worried about that TP in there, um, but then Oz jumped into the middle of Virginia Tech and died Oz, instantly. Oz super out of position. Um, and he ulted in for that. Yeah, yeah, and and you you really you see that that, that nice circle on enemies as Camille, and you're like, ooh, I'm gonna get that nice crisp sound effect in the shield. It's gonna be amazing. And then it's like, oh wait, I don't really do any damage right now. Yeah. Yeah. You start happens. with a Zerker Greaves. So you have literally zero AD. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely and, nothing but attack speed. And maybe and, it's like a 500 HP Olaf. You don't do 500 damage in the middle of a team no. fight right now, though. <laughs> okay, he's actually bit going for Quinn's who's first on Kaisa. I think Death Dance is the. Preferred. Yeah, yeah, Death Dance is, is typically what we go. We've even been seeing that Essence Reaver coming out first, but typically not the Quinsu's. Might yeah, be getting Ginsu's... traded onto a little bit, but he's flat, so he's gonna come up. Yeah, Ginsu gives you multipliers of off the stats you already have, and he doesn't have anything to multiply. So he's up a little bit far here, but he's Camille, so he's gonna be just fine. Yep, turn no ganks. I think the only reason Actually the swag is gonna meet uh Fonku here in the top side again. Never mind. He backs up. He had a PTSD from last time, doesn't want to get burned down. <laughs> I think Trundle's only that good in the uh, priority pick in the jungle right now is because there's other tanks in the jungle. Like, what was that root range? I'm sorry? What? That root looked like it was from so far away. Oh my god. Root, yeah, no, root range is actually really far. Yeah, Man, that was it's pretty obscene. Fair guys, Just join yeah. the hitbox. It's uh, a lot further than people think it is. Gavin's uh -oh. here. He has the predator. Trundle's also oh, there as the well. Gavin's actually pretty low and doesn't have a slash. Olaf's here, but he's not going to really be able to make anything happen, so 
Fong Fu ends up forcing uh, Yare and Gai Gabi to back up. They could possibly go for the, the heal up and re-engage though. Mm. Looks like no. Everybody's just gonna off the back up. Yeah. Overall gonna be better for Virginia Tech there, I think, because Maokai is the one who actually has to stay in that lane and he's a bit worse off. Mm -hmm. uh, back in TV, back in Yeah, too. teleport's available. So you can teleport back uh, to the top lane turret here. He's walking. See if Yade can push in this way. Yade's like actually not to... opting to push in, so no, he's no, not no, going to no, force no. out the no, teleport for down to flash. So good stuff being able to save that. I think if Yade yeah, had he'll to get back in time. shove that in, it would have been a little bit better. <clears throat> and we do see a, a little bit of a CS lead starting to build up here for Jin. About 30 CS up, so. <clears throat> Slowly building that lead on the on Imaj. Yeah, like we said last time, like the Jin and Karma are just really strong in lane. I, Jin stays strong, um, but like yeah, Karma just is Karma really turns good. into more utility. Yeah, but yeah, it's hey, just, you know, just a lot of pressure to those redemptions heal for over a thousand. That's they did. Yeah, <laughs> they, they were some big boy heals. It's uh, not like it's bad utility that Karma brings. Yeah. Especially with the amount of movement speed uh, mm -hmm. she can give, and the amount this team likes movement speed, it'll be yeah. uh, a good yeah. time. It'll be good. Uh, let's see. <laughs> First items getting finished up across the board, except for Maokai. Mm -hmm. Just got bits and pieces of stuff. Looks like we're gonna see another Mountain Drake coming out here, so. <clears throat> Two mountains. If you see that, if you see three mountains, I mean, you start getting into really scary territory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things just die so fast. Yeah, and not even yeah, necessarily yeah. turrets. It's just like barons die so fast. Yeah, yeah just barons, everything. Yeah. Barons is the elders and barons all start to Evaporate fall by the wayside before the might of the mountain dragon. But oh gosh, I guess the shield is coming. Everybody's kind of scrapping out. Huang Fu is up here in the top lane. Ult's going to land on the Yane. Actually, he's going to dodge it out, but then gets knocked back into it. He is going to be burning for quite a lot. Jin's going to open up at the bottom lane. There's just fights everywhere. Huang Fu flashes forward, followed by down to flashes flash. Active Nihilism very low in the bot lane. Nobody dies oh, bot man. lane. Active Nihilism very close. Actually, looks like Chao is just kind of caught up on the other side, but he ults somebody back, but he gets nuked. I think he gets another guys. Oh, Mage could be in danger here. Mage actually could be, yeah. God Gavin's gonna go ahead and just tank that tower, run up and smack him. Yeah, first turret goes to Drexel, second turret's going to go to Virginia Tech. Or actually, no, sorry, Virginia Tech got first turret in mid lane. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they did. A that while turn. ago, might be. Quite a while ago. <laughs> Still, uh, yep, lots of flashes used in the top side. To f every actually, everywhere. All the flashes yeah. from Drexel are gone with the same cooldowns across the board. <laughs> um, yeah. Virginia Tech, okay. only the yeah, harmless gonna... flash actually used. This is going to work out really nicely for VT. You're going to be able to come over here, get this Mountain Drake, not allowing uh, Drexel to stack those up. So very, very good chain of events there for VT. Yeah. Victor gets started up here by Huang Fu. Uh, Yade spots that out, though. Oh, no, gotta watch out, though. Maokai is here. Yeah, it is a 2v1, but the swag is not far off. I would think they would be looking to, to force this yeah. away. And yeah, wisely, Drexel does back up. Okay. So, we're now at even Mountain Trade Tower. We have 2k gold lead for Virginia Tech, um, which is actually, I think, a little bit better off than uh, for Drexel than they were doing last game. Yeah. I think they were down about three or almost five. Uh -huh, yeah, they were, they were down about three, so can't can't uh, can't count them out yet. And we do see that uh, land swap coming in once again. As soon as they get that bot tower, just shuffle them up. Mm -hmm. And again, we see Drexel slow on the rotation to swap their bot lane uh -huh. top again. Not, not really expecting it, and you definitely can't have a Kai'Sa. Okay, I mean, meal. you have to expect it at this point. Like, does this not happen, like, pretty much every single game? Um, like, come on, you have to... Uh, like looking at that Rift Hill, everybody from Drexel is around that top side, so they could potentially fight mm -hmm. that if it does get started up. Obviously, it's known, because the Scuttle Crab is there. Yeah. Like Drexel preparing to fight. Sold for for Yade and uh, Drexel really needs to make a decision here. They're gonna lose this Herald and then take quite a bit of bot tower damage. Right. They really need to find go, something. Go for it now. Yade's teleporting into that topside bush. Bonku's just kind of up by himself. The we just the 
Savage come out. Olaf's gonna pop his ult on a Chow. Chow's gonna get taken quite a bit of damage. He can't ult away at ulting Olaf. They're gonna open up. Actually, the Rift Herald does fall. Chow's gonna go ahead and get knocked down. Yachty's gonna go back and finish up. I'm Aj. The bot lane is dead for Drexel, followed by the mid laner, and the Olaf's gonna come in looking for more kills. Down to Flash gets rooted, and the Jin to follow up. He will fall as well. Gonna look maybe to trade something on Yachty. Absolutely not, they say. And just Really, really wipe terrible. the board. Chain of events. For a Drexel. lot of that was just having no flashes on the side of Drexel. You saw Virginia yeah. Tech come in, and it looks like Drexel was good, and then Virginia Tech managed to flash their low health members out of the fight. Uh, keep fighting, have the people heal up, come back in. Uh, meanwhile, Drexel yeah. just stuck there. Everybody's in the uh, yeah. And the, fla the flash window is still open for you know another minute or so, roughly, on some of these people. Summoner spellbook's gonna keep Vlad's flash up faster, but. Yeah. I mean, they, if they want to make a similar play again, you know, with Baron coming up in 20 seconds, they could definitely go for it. Mm -hmm. I think that was just kind of still uh, just a chain of events based off of the, the lack of rotation for, uh, for Drexel. Oh, Yachty going in on Amaj. Really oh, Yachty! Does open up on Amaj. <laughs> I was just going to... Oh! Cleaver to win it. <laughs> yes, by the way. Doesn't matter. Small fight around red buff here. Concrete is gonna hit that red buff, not caring too much, but now I might have to care. Oh, actually, the swag uh, is here, so he's gonna make him care. He cares a little bit now. Give me that back, boy. Where do you think you're going? Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's nice to, uh, you know, oh yeah, there's only one of you, I don't care about you, but once that rise oh, comes whoops. in... Oh, Never mind, that's a little, it's more people than I expected. Exactly. <laughs> Yada not having the best time here against Mage. Getting, yeah, getting a little overzealous, but actually he opens up and he's just actually... Oh, oh he's dead. Just yeah. kidding, Wall. Ultimate procs and it does the damage necessary. Yeah. Where's the mastery flash, Mage? That's where you flash mm. your mastery, dude. Yeah. Hit him with the BM. Tilt him off the face theory. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no chase, no magic resist itemization. I mean, no armor either, but, uh... Just, just... Flash me just some early them? damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he just bought the Merc Reds. Okay, that's what I thought. So, looks like now we're getting... Okay. I was about to say Drexel's gonna match the 2v2 in the top lane, but they're just now moving up to do that. Because they have Mids right. matched down here in bot. Um... Oh, Maokai ult coming oh. through. Gonna go for something. Uh, VP's just gonna kind of uh, walk away though. Malkai's ult's a little, little bit slow for, to, for them to catch up to. Put it farther back. Boost. Yeah. Gotta throw that long, long pass. Rise is going to some damage on to uh, Vladimir. Oh, Vladimir. and that Rise is a bit disgusting. more luck than the Camille did. Rise damage. Oh my god. Respect <laughs> that man, Mage. What are you doing? Wow, that was some damage. Just absolutely commanding respect on the battlefield. Mm, I think Rise might be a little strong, guys. Our glorious leader, the champion. Swag. It might just be like five, you know, one in five. He's nuts. Yeah, Swag is pretty good at Rise. Yeah. I also think the champion is. Bonfu. It's just running to people. They're just gonna do Baron instead. Yeah, they, yeah, they are gonna start up the Baron. Uh, uh, yeah, they, they're throwing the screenplay. Drexel play. should know uh, about this. That yeah, Drexel is Drexel there. Is definitely aware, but I, I just don't think they can make anything happen. Sapling steel, sapling steel. No, nope. <laughs> close though. It was close. Well, I, I, <laughs> a little too close. <laughs> yeah. Making us sweat a little bit there, guy Gavin. But yeah. actually, uh, we see. Hit. Gavin go for the Black Cleaver, um, pretty early on. That's not normal mm -hmm. on Olaf at all. Yeah, no, go no. for Righteous Glory. Yeah. Uh, first. But, you know, we don't build utility Olaf here. In oh, the... Yanni just goes in. Yanni doesn't care, but the swag <laughs> is here to back him up, and he sees his big boy, 5-1 and 5 rise, the swag, coming in, gonna run at him, hit him with the... <laughs> force the flash. Big... Oh, of course, two flashes. Actually, I'm Aj is gonna get taken out by Yanni, I would uh -oh. imagine, here. He ends up taking the blast cone. His boy down to flash says, "No, I don't want to help you." Damage. What Actually, an insane does... setup play. BT's just running away with this one. It's yeah. absolutely everything in the favor of BT. Yeah, they just have so much or so much power. Like Rise, uh, Camille, and Olaf are just champions that you can <laughs> Wait, run into people and just. I didn't even kill see that. God, he's <laughs> gone. Yeah, I was watching the. I, I was watching Yade run away with the. Uh, the Vladimir ult on him, but uh, yeah. Karma ult does just, uh, or Karma shield, excuse me, completely saves him and he's fine, and they're gonna get this in hit. 
Guys, <laughs> much more aware of the situation than we are. Apparently, this is a this is a bad time um, for Kaisa Jan. Um, yeah. Because, like, okay. So oh, that eight. scales really well, but it just does not do her yeah. do very well. Either. Six minutes ago, it was 17 minutes, and we said, "Oh, yeah. Virginia Tech only has a 2K cold lead. This is a bit worse yeah. of a lead than they had last game." Six Doesn't minutes matter. later, it's a 17K or sorry, 12K gold lead, 15K gold lead. Yeah. Dragon is insane. Get the dragon getting all the resources. This is what they needed to do last game, but they just didn't quite get there, and and they let mm -hmm. Drexel come back. But this time, uh, some weird plays around Baron. And Drexel's going to be like hard that. pressed to get back in. This. Yeah. yeah. No, we saw three thousand gold in the inventories of the two carries for Virginia Tech, and another two thousand in this inventory of Karma. So. Mm, yeah, I think I think this game's over, guys. Just uh, make it a formality at this point. <laughs> Never know, dude. Anything can happen. Mm. Rise just gives big. Hat. Only, only a few things can happen when you're that far ahead in the game. I mean, uh, COG came back from like 18k Ooh. down in MSI. Yeah, true. That but... faded series two years ago. Yadi is here. But... Oh, Yadi is here. Actually, just kidding. Oh, team. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Where are you going, boy? Sit down. Flash that mastery. Love it. It's always this like the coolest little uh, I don't know animation when somebody tries to get out of that Camille ulti and just get yeah. back in. Snap him back. No no no. Not getting out this time. No no no. No no no. Yeah, I don't that thank you, boy. <laughs> there's no there's no counterplay for Vixel. I I don't think at this point. They don't have Especially a man down enough power to disengage to and, yeah, and on that last back, we saw some huge purchases for uh, for VT. Jin just get his Gwyn Seuss, and Fry's got his big hat, Death Cat, coming in. So they're just going to be absolutely churning out the damage. Yeah. Camille was just pushing this by yourself right here. Got it, making it look like a solo queue game. Wow, shit, that he was going in. <laughs> Rev just comes <laughs> in and KS is that turret kill. Snipes the power. Gotcha. Yeah, there's just no ability to force here. For, yeah. for Drexel, I mean, they want to force something with like a Maokai engage and, and Trundle to walk up, but... Uh, Whoever gets there first is going to die real fast. Yeah, so they're, they're just too far behind to have the tanks tank anything. They're just going to explode. Exactly. Uh, it's, uh, and Trundle isn't even too tanky. He went for the Triforce. He has the uh, TM at oh. now. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was just saying like, Champion's like, I don't think Fong is the type of player to play Trundle. Um, like, at the... The, the path that everyone else takes turned them down of, you know, tank items and yeah. boring stuff. But yeah, Fong Fu just take, builds damage and yeah. plays damage champion, so. He did a good job, like, you know, getting the counter jungle down early and everything, but at this point, like, even if Olaf's mm. down 40 uh, minions, he's up 900 gold just off of the yeah. pure team play he can provide with his strong early ganks. Yeah, up a little far, but he's just gonna back up. He does have a decent amount of life steal with that Hydra, so I kind of just like to see uh, VT just just put the final nail in the coffin yeah. here. Yeah, yeah he's the last really in up. left alive. And I think he's absolutely, absolutely perfectly fine to do that. I think Wong Fu's a little tilted right now. Yeah, Wong yeah, actually going there. for a fight against Yade here. Yade. Force to flash away when Hong Kong uh, flashes. He's, he's gonna get kited back. Yeah, and he's yeah. actually tilted off the face of the player. Yeah, I think, he, I think he's a... Uh, he just slammed down. his keyboard, by the way. Uh, Mage actually is gonna get rooted in his own uh, pool of goo. Gonna flash back in. Actually, oh, falls to the swag. Oh, oh barely alive. alive. Olaf, barely alive. So many things just tilting Drexel here. <laughs> oh, this is the kind of win VT needs. Where it's Keep the score. Don't don't kill this guy. Keep the score. This triple kill for the swag. Yep. Repeated Nero escapes for BT and a nice, quick, clean twenty-eight minute four to twenty-one victory. Yeah. Four. And that's that's reminiscent of how Virginia Tech won the finals last year. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah.